If your Windows 11 laptop or PC running super slow or laggy after few days of use, then don't worry, in this ultimate guide, I will show you guys how to fix it without using any third party software. So in this video tutorial, I will guide you to whether your PC is lagging, freezing or taking forever to boot. This video, I will cover everything. So follow me step by step and don't forget to like the video after watch. The first method is disable unnecessary services to instantly speed up your system. These services run silently in the background and consume your RAM, CPU and battery. So we will safely disable only those services that won't affect your daily uses. And the best part is everything is done using built-in Windows tool. So no need any third party tools. To disable services on your Windows 11, what you have to do, you just need to go to your start or search window and type services.msc. And after that, press enter from your keyboard. So after open services window, first I will disable and find Bluetooth related services. So if you are using Bluetooth related services on your PC or laptop, then don't disable it. So I am not using any Bluetooth related services, so I will simply select here disable. So simply right click and go properties and select startup type disable and click on apply then ok. So I will disable one by one all the Bluetooth services. After done, I will uh, disable BitLocker drive-in keystone services. So if you are using a BitLocker related services, means BitLocker on your computer, then don't disable it. So I am not using any BitLocker on, on my computer. So I will simply right click go properties and simply disable. Next, I will disable connected user experience and telemetry. So this service is responsible for sending your uses and diagnostic data to Microsoft server. So I don't need it, so I'll simply go to disable, click on disable. Next is geolocation services. So here it is as you can see. So you can disable it if you don't use the map on your PC or laptop. So I'll disable it and click on apply then ok. Next is net logon. So net logon service is basically for domain networks. You can disable it if your computer is in part of domain network. So simply right click go properties and disable it. All the services name I will provide to my video description. Next is optimize drive. Here it is as you can see. So you can disable it if you like to defrag your hard drive manually. So I will right click and go properties and simply disable it. Next is parental control. So this service is basically restrict your children to computer use. So I will disable it. The next one is printer spooler. If you are not using any printer on your computer, then you can simply disable it. In my case, it is already disabled as you can see. So I'll click on OK. Next is phone services. So it, it handles connection between your computer and mobile's devices. So simply I will disable it. Next is a remote desktop related services. So basically, in my case, I don't need any remote desktop on my PC, so I'll disable all the services related to the de remote desktop. So if you are using remote desktop on your computer, don't disable it. So in my case, I will disable it. One by one, I will disable all the services. Next is sensor service. It manage integration with sensors like GPS and ambience light sensor. So I'll disable it because I don't require this service on my PC. Next is smart card. If you are not using any smart card device, in my case it is already disabled as you can see. So if you are not using any smart card on your PC, then you can disable it simply. Next is Windows Biometric Service. This Windows Biometric Service is enable the fingerprint and unlock function. So if you are not using any fingerprint unlock on your computer or laptop, then you can disable it. In my case it is already disabled as you can see. Next is Windows Error Reporting Service. It captured the event whenever you face an error on your Windows and send it to Microsoft for uh, further diagnostics. So what you have to do, you just need to right click and simply disable it. In my case, it is already disabled as you can see. So click on OK. Next is Work Folder. Basically, it synchronizes a file between a central server and personal computer. So I don't need, so I will disable it. Next is Windows Mobile Hotspot. Here it is as you can see. 
So if, if you are not using any mobile hotspot on your PC, you can simply disable it. So last one is device speaker. You can disable it if you don't use any Miracast or DLNA services on your computer. The next one is disable startup apps. So if you want to speed up your boot time and performance, then disable unnecessary startup apps. So we will use here built-in task manager to find and turn off apps you don't actually need running at startup. To open task manager on your Windows 11, simply you need to open Runbox and you need to type on your Runbox task MGR and press enter. Also you can right click on your start menu icon and click on task manager and it will open task manager on your computer. Now you need to click on startup apps from your left side over here and here all my apps is showing over here. Simply right click and disable those apps which is not required on your startup. The third one is disabling unnecessary app permissions under privacy and security to boost performance. Many apps request to access things like location, microphone, background apps and notification even if you don't use those features and these permissions allow apps to run in the background which can slow down your system and drain resources to fix this problem simply you need to right click on your start menu icon click on settings once it will open settings window click on privacy and security from your left side over here now on this window simply scroll down under app permission you will get all your uh, options so what you have to do you just need to click on location first so if you are not using any maps or weather application on your computer simply disable it after that go to privacy and security once again if you are not using camera so in my case i am not using any camera so i will disable this option next one is mm, microphone i need microphone so i will not disable this option i i need to disable uh, voice activation because I don't need any voice activation option on my computer because it is basically used for assistant voice assistant like uh, Cortana so I don't need to use this uh, voice activation so I'll disable this one next is notification so I don't want any notification uh, on my computer so I'll disable this one the next one is account info I simply disable it Next is contacts. I don't need. So I will disable it. Next is calendar. I need calendars. Phone calls. I don't need phone calls. So I'll disable it. Next is call history. I will disable it. If you are using any Outlook or Windows Mail application on your computer, then don't uh, disable this email option. So in my case, I'm not using it. So I will disable email option. Next is task. Simply disable it. Messaging, I don't need. So I'll disable it. Radios. And then other devices. I'll disable this one and you are done. The next one is turn off visual effects. For that you just need to simply right click on your start menu, click on settings. After that click on system from your left side over here. On your right side you need to scroll down and click on about. After that click on advanced settings under device uh, specification. Now go to advanced option and click on settings under performance tab. Now here you will see the option called adjust for best performance. So select that option. Also you can customize, click on customize and select as per your choice. So I'll select here adjust for best performance. After that click on apply then ok and it will run as a server mode. Next is disable background apps. For that simply right click on your start menu and click on settings or else you can press Windows and I together from your keyboard and it will open settings window. 
Now click on apps from your left side. On your right side, click on installed apps. Here you will see all type of your installed apps. So simply click on this three dot button and click on advanced option. Now here you will see the background app permission. Simply you just need to click on never and you have to do it one by one for all your windows app. The next one is clean temporary and junk files on your windows 11. So two ways you can disable temporary files on your windows 11. For that simply open settings on your computer and simply click on system from your left side over here. Right side you will get storage option. So click on that storage option and here you will get our temporary files. Click on that. Now make sure that you have unchecked downloads folder and check recycle bin folders. Otherwise it will delete your down all the files and folders under download folders. After that click on remove files. Also you can use tim command. For that simply go to your start or search window and type percentage tim percentage. After type this command press enter and it will go to your uh, this location. The next one is windows update. So for that simply go to your uh, settings window and click on uh, windows update and here you will see uh, all the updates over here. Also make sure that you have updated your drivers update for that cl click on this advanced option and here you will get a option called uh, optional updates and here you will see all your uh, driver updates simply check this option and click on download and install. So before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members, a special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.